Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your mid-month reading for the month of July of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. My name is Eric and if you're returning, what's up guys? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, kids, as, as always, as usual, this is a general reading, right? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a fairly timeless reading. This really could resonate for you at any time, all right? No matter when you find it, okay? So don't worry so much about the timing. Worry, uh, or don't worry about anything, really, but pay more attention to the, uh, or, or place more focus on the message of the reading, of also the titles of the readings, because that will help you understand, yeah? Or that will help you keep, help you understand what, Eric, I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Let's move forward. Okay, excellent. I have a pre-shuffle here for you. And I'm going to say I like it because it's a very assertive energy for you, Taurus. Okay. Um, you have the Queen of Swords and with that you have the Eight of Cups. So there's definitely an energy of somebody being pretty fed up is what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling and walking away from something. And the reason why or what's behind them, what's behind this movement forward or this cutting something out and walking away altogether, it's self-love, Ace of Cups. I'm going to go further, but what I want to I want to point something out here. This is the Los Carabello deck, and the King and the Queen of Swords are both holding a head. The Queen of Swords is holding a man's head, and then the King of Swords is holding a woman's head. Now, it's not about the gender here, okay? Um, because what I'm getting from the Queen of Swords, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, but what I'm getting from the Queen of Swords is there is a level of just being fed up, okay? Um, and I, 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 I have never seen the King or the Queen of Swords depicted in this way in which they're holding the head of the opposite gender. But when I saw that, when I, when I saw this card, Taurus, my eyes were immediately drawn to this, the fact that she's holding a head here. And what I'm getting with that is a very much off with, her, with their heads type of energy. And that's where the frustration and the energies of being fed up are coming from, okay? Um, and so, and it, it finally, really, finally, it's just enough is enough, okay? You have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so there's definitely a sense of self-love here, or self-respect, that's what I want to call it, self-respect that is guiding you, that is leading the way. Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Emperor, okay? Authority, power commitment, boundaries, all right? There is definitely something going on in your life in this moment. Taurus, maybe this is for you, or maybe this is for someone, maybe like, you know, someone's cross-watching for a Taurus and they're they're fed up. But this, I'm, I'm gonna say, this is really intended for Taurus. Keep in mind, we could be talking to a cross-watcher, but like, whatever. Place it in your life as it fits. Um, but someone is definitely fed up, and someone is moving forward confidently with very strong will as well, is what I'm hearing. Very strong-willed. Uh, very much off with their heads. Enough is enough. I've had enough of this. I'm done. I'm moving on now. Regardless as to whether you like it or not. Okay, Taurus. Shit, man. That's... Better do it, honey. <laughs> All right? Better do it. Let's, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's clear the deck. And we're going to reset, and then we're going to get started here to in, get into the rest of your reading. Yeah, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Taurus, unless there's anything else that wants to come out for you. Anything else for Taurus is pre-shuffled for this message. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So things are going to change, Taurus, and it's going to take some time. But what, but yes, it's going to take time. But what is most important is that you keep moving forward. Don't turn back. Don't turn around. Don't try and, you know, fix the situation or, uh, like, don't stray off of the path you're already taking or the road you're already walking, the path you're already walking. Knight of Pentacles. It feels like this is a, this feels like a situation, Taurus, in which you are going to need to be consistent with, not that that's really all that hard for you, 
kind of, to be honest, but um, because you're a fixed sign, once you get going in a certain direction, it's fairly easy to, for you to keep going in that direction. Um, but over time, this is going to pick up more and more momentum. And I do kind of feel like this is almost a test from the universe to see if you're really going to stay committed to your truth and authenticity. That's what I just heard. And as you continue to stay committed, as you continue to move forward with this step-by-step -step throughout the process, maybe even day-by-day, -day, things will change. The, the wheel will turn in your favor. It's already turning in your favor. However, there is a small element here, Taurus, of you needing to stay committed to your conviction, okay? Whatever it is that's driving you right now, whatever your reasoning is right now, whatever it is you feel about this situation right now that has you moving in a certain direction, you have to keep up with that. You have to stick with it. Don't fall back into old ways or anything like that, okay? 555 five, five on the counter for you, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, guys. I'm, um, I'm getting over smoking. <laughs> Woo, okay, here we go. I'm gonna give this, don't take any more, don't take any more. I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you, Taurus, and we'll see what else we have for you, yeah? One. For my Taurans, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you in this moment. This is two. Also, if you're looking for love messages specifically, check your Venus sign and or the Venus sign of your potential partner or even your actual partner. Yeah, this is three. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is four. And this is five. Alrighty, Taurus. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We have the world. Yeah, a big cycle is coming to a close right now, Taurus. And this has everything to do with your action steps or the action steps that are involved by that, that are involved in this process, that are needed by you in this process. You are taking firm action steps towards ending a cycle. This could be, uh, it, it feels like this is something pretty big. Like this is a chapter in your life that is in the process of coming to a close. Okay. And that could encompass so many things. I am feeling specifically, if you, if you're, if you want some specifics, what I can put my finger on, at least in this energy is relationships with certain people um, or certain energetic dynamics or, or physical circumstances or life circumstances that have you connected with certain people. And even then, I don't feel like that's specific enough or if that's a specific I should even say because it, regardless as to what's going on for you in your life or wherever you find yourself, Taurus, there are always going to be people involved with this. I don't know. I just, I just feel like... Um, what I just heard is there's a level up that's happening for you. So you're leaving a certain energetic vibration behind that encompasses a lot of people and a lot of circumstances and a lot of situations that have played out in that certain vibration. And now you're moving to the next vibration. You're moving up in the scale. And that's why you have the world here. Okay. Underneath the world is the six of wands. And underneath the six of wands is the ace of wands to the three of pentacles. Taurus, this is awesome. Because what this is saying here is that you are divinely inspired, okay, to move forward in a certain direction. And you are ready to move in that direction, six of wands, and you're ready to leave the past behind, what is what I just heard, but also close out this overall dynamic or this overarching dynamic because of the work that you've done on yourself. You are li literally... <clears throat> excuse me, you are literally physically ready to upgrade because of the work that you've been doing on yourself, okay? So keep taking those action steps moving forward, Taurus. This is freaking beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. You have the chariot. Look at this. This is great. This is proof, Taurus, that you have been doing the work that is necessary for you to get in alignment with yourself, 
and you are driving forward passionately, balanced, harmonized, integrated. This is awesome. There is a sense of union within you. I might need to turn the fan on, man. It's hot. Um, there's a sense of union within you. It's like all the parts and the pieces of yourself have come together and are working in tandem. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn on a fan. Hold on. Whew. Okay. That's better. All right. So you have the chariot here. Yes. First set of surrounding energies. And like I was saying, all the parts and the pieces of yourself seem to be working together, working in tandem. And that's what's giving you this drive to move forward in this way. All right. This is so awesome. The chariot is coupled with the page of cups. Okay. So there's a new dream I'm hearing for some of you. There's a new dream on, a, on the horizon. You may have been doing a lot of inner child work. Um, I feel like there's a connection to your inner child here, or there's a connection to your emotional realm that is refreshed and renewed. This feels like the dream that you have or the vision of your future that you're focused on, that you're moving forward towards. Okay. This is excellent. This is direct. This has a de This definitely has a direct connection to your inner child. And the healing work you may have been doing involving that. Okay. Excellent, Taurus. Second set of surrounding energies for you is the Six of Cups. Okay. I just heard your past. The past is firmly within your rear view mirror. I like that. Because what that is saying for you, Taurus, is that you're not you haven't completely disregarded or forgotten about the past or you do not intend to completely disregard or forget about the past, but you're also not allowing it to, you're not allowing yourself to focus on it too much, okay? It's in the rear view mirror, you see it back there. At any given moment, you can always look up in your rear, you can look up in the mirror and be like, yeah, okay, that happened, all right, cool. That's just like a good refresher, a cute little reminder, but then you're keeping your focus forward, all right? I like that. Six of Cups is coupled with the Four of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. I like this also. Because this to me is speaking directly to the fact that you're over the past. You're done with the past. You're done with the elements of the past that you are actively moving away from. There is a level of boredom and apathy. To be honest with you, Taurus, I like this. I, I'm not really a fan of apathy. I mean, it's really not one of the best mental states to be in or energetic states to be in because, you know, it can, it's just not a good thing. But in terms of this, I think it's a good thing because this is what's helping to motivate you to move forward away from these past circumstances because there's no emotional investment anymore or you don't want to invest emotionally anymore. For some of you, this is a really excellent thing because it was your desire to continue emotionally investing in these past circumstances that had you cycling through this energy over and over and over again. But it feels like you've finally gotten to the point where it's like, no, I'm really just emotionally done. I did hear emotionally tired or drained. Recognizing how these past circumstances have been draining you emotionally is very is a very very valuable mental space to be in or a very valuable um understanding to have and that's what's helping to drive you forward here that's what's helping to inspire you to move forward here excellent taurus your challenge is the nine of swords interesting because i don't really feel <clears throat> much of this nine of swords energy for you i the most that i feel is a strong sense of confidence, uh, determination even. So what I'm getting with the Nine of Swords for you, Taurus, as your challenge here, is to continue to focus on moving forward in the future and not let any fears and what ifs get in your way. That's going to be your biggest, your, your, your biggest challenge, your biggest detriment right now is fear of moving forward, fear of what's going to happen, um, maybe even allowing some of the fearful energies or the fearful mindsets from the people or the circumstances in the past kind of get into your mind and like try and try and push you or sway you off your path. Don't let that happen. 
okay? Keep moving forward. I, I, this is hard for me to put into words, but what I'm seeing is you just being so focused on the future, so focused on what's ahead of you and being open to that, being faithful in the universe and yourself in terms of what it is you are feeling inspired to move towards, that's where you should put your focus. That's where you should keep your focus. Don't let any fears about that infiltrate your mind, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. Excellent, okay? Independence. Stand strong in this Nine of Pentacles independence energy. Again, Taurus, I don't feel like this is really that much of a challenge or... I don't feel like this is going to really affect you all that much because I feel like you're very firmly rooted here in this Nine of Pentacles energy, this sovereign energy, okay? This very independent, standing on my own, doing for myself, making it work for myself, this, that, and the third, in business for myself, whatnot, whatever. I feel like you're very firmly rooted here, Nine of Pentacles. But the challenge for you, the reminder is to stay focused here. Do not allow this Nine of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, Nine of Swords energy to get in your way, okay? You're very close. You're very close to the final, to the end, all right? Well, yes, but also you're very close to the next phase. Nine, okay? After the nine is the 10. The nine is the ending, the 10 is the completion. You're almost there. But then you also have the world here at the top, the very first card of your overall energy of your reading right now. So like closure, completion is imminent is what I just heard. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus. The Hermit. Excellent. Your, the Hermit is representing your inward focus. Is representing, also I'm hearing, is representing your drive. It's your inward focus. It's your inner understanding of yourself and your reality that's driving you forward. The Hermit is coupled with the Lovers. So... If any of you needed any sort of confirmation, okay, as to whether or not you're moving in the right direction, which is, it seems kind of redundant to me at this point, but I'm just going to go with it because like, I don't know, I'm not in your head. I'm in your energy, but I'm not in your head. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Yes, you have made the right choice. Yes, you are going in the right direction. Because ultimately, the choice that you've made to go in the current direction that you're moving in comes from this sense of self-understanding, the hermit. Again, like I said in the beginning, this has everything to do with the work that you've been doing on yourself. Three of Pentacles is at the bottom, is the last card at the bottom of the deck. Self-mastery, okay? You really took the time to go within, understand yourself, understand the circumstances around you and come to a clear and concise point of view and make a clear and concise decision as to in, ter in terms of what it is you want to do moving forward or how it is you want to handle the situation in front of you. Thus, it's coming from a place of authenticity. So honor that, okay? You have made the right decision. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>